Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. I'm here with my buddy Justin Norris from SNS Diesel Motorsport. And Justin is kind of the face of SNS. A lot of times you see us talking to Andrew and talking to Luke too. Uh, Justin, you'll see at the shows and stuff like that. He's kind of the jack of all trades at SNS. I'm aren't standing. You? Yeah, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we we just wanted to talk through DCRs with you today and. Um, what I was telling Justin when we were kind of talking about what we were going to talk through, it's a year later. We're at the, the uh, 2024 National Farm Machinery Show right now. Uh, it's been a year since the actual unveiling of the DCR for the 6-7 uh, Power Strokes. And, you know, we were kind of talking about what SNS has learned as a manufacturer and what we've learned as a retailer um, for the uh, DCR pump. And it, it's it's been crazy. I, I'll, I'll talk for the thoroughbred side of it first. Um, the DCR pump is 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 our best selling product right now at Thoroughbred. It's it's just wildly wildly popular, and that's because of the CP4 failures that we saw inside of the six seven power strokes. We all know CP4 failure is going to take out everything, uh, high pressure components, you know, down the down the system injectors and, and have to change out fuel rails and whatnot. Um, this is a more robust pump, and we'll get into all that. But it's a year later, man. What uh, what, what have we learned? What's different now? And uh, uh, what's it look like as, as far as the marketplace goes? Okay, well, I'd, I'd say what's most different than last year's is everyone's stocked up. They're yeah. available. You, you can purchase this. Yeah. Ideally, get it from Thoroughbred <laughs> yeah. Diesel. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the biggest thing is, is when we unveiled it, you know, you can't always pick the timing of yeah. the farm show, but we felt like the farm show was the, the, the perfect time to at least tell people about it even though we didn't have it 100 percent ready to hit the market so we appreciate everyone's patience for waiting three months while we finally did launch it in uh i believe it was june june 15th I yeah think it was right when, around first of june yep, there, yeah. yep so since launching it since getting these out in the field we have over 5,000 dcrs out yep. in the field now um which is wild it's it's a lot it's wild it's, it's yeah. a lot it, it, it is like you said it's your best selling product this yeah. is by far our biggest product to date yeah. you know it's been huge yeah. um the i guess the main takeaway there or the thing that, that that i'd like to focus on is is the whole reason for the dcr the point behind the dcr is is more durability yeah you know it's, it's a more durable option that isn't going to make metal yeah um five thousand pumps in the market no metal yeah so we we have had zero bottom end failures out of the dcr at least reported yeah so uh, that's great that, yep. that it's doing exactly what we intended it to. Yep. Now, granted, you know, I, I feel like time is on our side. You know, yep. we're going to have historical data. As of right now, we only have, what, eight, eight months of historical data. Yep. And, and we realize that there's, there's people that are kind of sitting back and waiting to see how it ages, I guess. Yeah. We're, we're confident, you know, and, and the guys I work for are great, talented engineers. Yeah. They're confident that the DCR is going to age just as well as the CP3. It's a very similar design to the CP3. CP3 has already proven itself, and we're confident the DCR will will too. Um, there's been two instances of water and rust yeah. getting ran through the DCR. Um, yeah. One of it was in one of our own development trucks. So you know we got a YouTube video on that that documents the whole thing. Yeah. But that truck survived. The DCR survived. Wow. It. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I rode in it last week. It's my buddy's yeah. truck. So yeah. yeah. So basically, it, it took on water and rust. We tore the pump apart, inspected it. Uh, yeah, you could tell that water and rust had gone through the pump, but honestly, the internals didn't look that bad. So yeah. we put it back together. We pulled an injector to just to make sure that, that that side of it was good. The injector tested. We compared it to a, a new out-of-the-box Bosch injector, and, and they overlapped each other. No yeah. changes. So yeah. we basically put everything back in the truck, and uh, it's still running today. Good no to issues. So Yeah. The... Uh uh, it's it, it, it was funny that you said that because the when the DCR first came out, you know, it seemed like we kind of had two sets of customer bases. You know that, that when when we were first able to take orders, they flew off the shelf. Mm -hmm. But then we had kind of had some some guys were skeptical of it because it's it, it is it's revolutionary because you you just don't get that in light duty diesel anymore. And you know you've been around yeah. a long time, and I have too. It, it, a lot of times engineers will focus on what they've got, what they've got in front of them, the fuel system or the turbo system that they've got in front of them, and they'll, and they'll improve on that. Mm -hmm. But for um, for you guys to come out with a completely different pump, mm -hmm. um, you know, to be able to come up with the low side supply lines for it that, that 
that dang near mimics the OE mm -hmm. fuel side line is a real testament to what the kit was. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of the skeptical customers that you see about it that are just kind of tin full hat, you're like, oh, it's, you know, <laughs> it's not what Ford acid or the, the, the Bosch didn't want to put on it. Yeah. But if they could see one, if they could yeah. really see one in the engine and, and see how much it, it looks like it came on the truck, yep. I think it, it would, it would, you know, it would, it would, it would kind of wash a lot of that yep. away. Yeah. So, you know, that, that that's a question we get a lot that, that we've seen is uh, the DCR is so great, how come Ford isn't using yeah. it? Well, since our founder, one of our founders worked for Bosch Motorsports, the other uh, you know owner worked for uh, Cummins. So they, they have kind of the, I guess you could say, the inside knowledge of how the OEs work. Mm -hmm. And there's there's long-standing contracts. There's 30-year contracts and stuff with, with yeah. fuel system manufacturers that they just can't get out of. So. Right. Even if they wanted to change, yeah. they may have their hands tied, you know. Yeah. So we'll, see. you know, time will tell. We'll, yeah. we'll see. Maybe, maybe Ford will eventually start to offer the DCR as as, as OE. Yeah. So. Yeah. Exactly. It's a. Uh, um, I, know, I know Adam's out on the tripod and he can't can't really see it, but everything that you're seeing on the low side and the return side supply line are part of the DCR kit. So I mean, it, it looks you know just like it came on the pump. Um, you know, we don't ever talk about the uh, the DCR supply to the rail lines. Uh, you all had these engineered, and they are mm -hmm. they are almost OE fit and finish. In fact, they mm -hmm. they fit in the stock isolators that come on the truck, so yep. you don't you don't change position of the lines over the rail. That's the use of the stock isolator, so it's it's very very close. Well, it, it, uh, it is OE grade because yeah. it's made by an OE. Right. Uh, you know, we our partnership with Standardine is great. You yep. know, this is a co-developed product, so. Standardine is an OE manufacturer. The DCR yeah. has been used in OE engines, a very well-known OE yeah. overseas. So um, the parts you're getting are OE grade because they're made by an OE, yeah. and uh, you know they're made to our specifications. We've worked really hard with uh, you know Standardine to, to to develop this particular pump. So while the DCR platform is available in other trucks. This particular 6.7 Power Stroke variant is, is specific to SNS due to a joint development effort between us and Pure Power. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now it, it is a stock pump, and you get we get this question a ton, and you gotta you gotta kind of not not dance around it. But I, I will tell you uh, um, that you know the question people want to say how big can we go with it? It, it, it is a stock pump. <laughs> it is it's, it's, it's for the yep. OE output of yep. a 6.7 truck, but. We haven't run it out of fuel yep. in, 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 in what we've seen from the performance yep. side. And I know yep. that's not your marketing strategy yep. for yep. You're not marketing as a performance pump. Nope. But I can tell you from the trucks that we have installed them on and, and, and in our dealer network, uh, we haven't run them out of fuel yet. Yep. They haven't they haven't started for so fuel. So we're going to find so. out soon enough. While, yeah. while the DCR wasn't designed uh, to increase output, you know, obviously we've done testing and, and compared it against, uh, you know, 10 millimeter CP4s out there and, and it actually outflows. Yep. A 10 millimeter stroker pump at higher RPM, which is where people want to make the power. Right. But we we're a company that, that we like data, yeah. so we're not going to throw out a horsepower number without having data to back it up. Yeah. But we're not interested in dynoing stock trucks because that's yeah. not what we do. Yeah. We do race cars. Yeah. So exactly. there exactly. may or may not be a race car coming out <laughs> yeah. with a single DCR, right. so that we can just see what it's got. Yep. Which is which will be huge. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it, it'll really show the performance side of the pump if you decide yep. to go down yep. that road with it. So because people do that, they yeah. they, they want to race, yep. and that's fine. If they, if they're not going to be driving it on the street and they're going to be on the racetrack only, yep. then there is more in reserve if if you ask for it. Yeah, yeah. The guys that have got fleets of these trucks, because I mean, this is the most popular platform out there. It's been out since 2011. Mm -hmm. This the kit works for 2011 to. You said whether well, the brake year is 23 right 20, now. 20, 22. 22, we, we, okay. We have a 23 HO. Okay. And we're doing emissions testing now because yeah. we're, we're going to have an EO number for this soon. Like yeah. right now, we have it's SEMA certified, so it's 49 state legal. Yeah. We're working on 50 state, working on the car, but we need to do emissions testing. Yeah. So we got a 23 high, high output. We're going to do some baseline emissions testing. Right. Then we're going to put our DCR in it. So we've We've tested the DCR against the R113 because the 23 and up has a yeah. larger displacement pump now. Yeah. So we've compared the two. It keeps up. Flow, flow data looks good, but we will actually want to put it in the truck to make sure there's no issues. So yeah. as soon as we get that in our own pro or development truck and, and, and get some miles on it, then hopefully we'll be adding 23 and 24 compatibility soon. Yeah. And then we're doing at Thoroughbred, we're finishing up our installation video on our 21. So on our page, we've got our, our installation video that's for the older trucks, for the 11 to 11 to 19s. We're finishing up our 21 install, so look for that coming out um, pretty soon. Um, you know, 
Luke and I talked about this a little bit. I, I don't know that a lot of people know that the that the DCR pump actually uh, has run on the J fuel, the military mm -hmm. fuel, which is as bad a fuel as you can possibly get through the pump. It's pretty dry. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty <laughs> daggone dry. Yep. So, and the pump survived that as well too. So, yep. you know, everybody talks about how robust the CP3 is. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you, I think with a, a little bit, just like you were saying, a little bit more data, a little mm -hmm. bit more history of the pump, they'll they'll categorize that with just as tough as the CP3 yep. is ever bit yep. of it. So. I, honestly, there's there's some advantages the DCR features that the CP3 doesn't have that that we like, like uh, pressure lubricated bushings and bearings. Yeah. Like, yep. like, you know, same as like an engine crankshaft. Yeah. Uh, yeah, opposing you know. buckets on it. Yeah, you yeah, it, it is, it's the real deal. Yeah. We, yeah. we wouldn't use it otherwise. Like, yeah. our, our goal is to provide the best solution for something. Yeah. And whoever makes that, we have a great relationship with Bosch. We use a lot of Bosch products. Yeah. The CP3 is not going to fit in the valley. Yeah. And we truly believe the DCR is the best solution for a 6, 7 power stroke, not a CP4. Yeah. And so that's what we went with. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's farm show. There's a lot of people walking oh, yeah, around yeah, and whatnot. Man, you're a celebrity. Come yeah, on, let's be honest. Hey, <laughs> so the uh, um, I was gonna I was gonna talk about the DPK kit too, uh -huh. just just for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, the DPK is still a wildly popular product for us. The so guys that, that 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 maybe aren't thinking about going the, with the DCR, we still mm -hmm. suggest that you get out there and do something to get ahead of CP4 failure. Uh, CP4 failure that you're going to have with the with the DPK kit, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to keep you from having metal that goes downstream. It's introduced into the injectors and yep. things like that, and that's a wildly product for you all oh, too. Yeah. I mean, uh, still, but the the DCR guys, um, you know, we see a lot of times in the groups. You and I were talking about this before. Uh, a lot of guys will have a DPK kit and the the disaster prevention kit. Then they go into a, a DCR pump. Um, and, and that's fine, and we talk about it in our mm -hmm. install videos. The, the DPK kit actually doesn't work. There's no need for that with the DCR setup. But the return filtration, we just left ours in, and, 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 and yeah. that was fine. There was no you know additional back pressure. It just yeah. cleans up the fuel that much more. Yeah, so. it, it, honestly, you're smiling. Like you're it, about to choke me no, on that. No, so no, I, no, we get that question so it, much. No, it's all right. You so know, so somebody, somebody spends you know, their hard-earned money on yeah. a disaster prevention kit. Yeah. And then they want to go to a DCR. They're mm -hmm. like, all right, what do I do with this? You know, yeah. they don't want to throw it in the trash. I'll be honest with you, it does nothing. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, if it makes you feel better, right. we're going to say, yeah. go for it. Yeah. It's not going to hurt anything. Exactly. Yeah, no, another point of filtration is not going to hurt anything as long as it's not restriction, you well, know. You know so, ba yeah. based, based on what we've seen, the, the DCR yeah. doesn't make metal, so there's no need for it. Yep, there it is. There yep. it is. God blew me out of the water. It does nothing. Now, thanks, <laughs> okay. thanks a lot, Justin. I appreciate it. So. <laughs> um, shoot. Um, Year later and 5,000 units, that's crazy testament. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know you guys are, I don't know how much you can talk about this. I know you guys are in development right now for um, these conversions on other trucks. So, mm -hmm. y'all were one of the first ones with the LML conversion as well. Yep. I'm sure that this conversion you're working on in, in, in different platforms, probably mm -hmm. DPK too. Any of that you can talk about? Oh, yeah, sure, or? sure. So, we've, uh, you know, there, there's more than just a 6, 7 power stroke that has CP4. Um, so we've been trying to focus on some of the, the other models, like uh, eco diesels. So like a Jeep eco diesel, Ram 1500, uh, the BMWs, uh, the 535D, the X5D, uh, VWs. So the Passats, uh, you know, the, the, the Jettas, anything with, with the diesel and the CP4, yeah. we're working on that. Um, yeah. It's taken us a little bit longer. I mean, you know, we've, we've had a prototype in, in my own 535D for a year now. Um, and obviously no issues and whatnot. It's just a matter of, of getting it across the goal line because we're going to take, as a company, you know, owned by engineers, yeah. we spend a little bit more time in development and, and making sure everything's right, but also getting this DCR out. 5,000 yeah. units, it's, it's not just about selling them, it's about supporting it too. Um, you know, there, there's such a thing as install error and whatnot, and we're, we're able to help yeah. people with that. Yeah. And, and so you know, when you have that, that many uh, pumps out there, there's going to be questions, you know. There's going to be some issues and stuff, and so we, our engineers, have been tied up, honestly, supporting the launch of the DCR and making yeah. sure the customers have the support they need to, you know, effectively install it and not have any issues. Yeah. Um, so now that that we're, we're getting the DCR kind of further out, and there's more that you know out there, and and people are learning more about it, we can kind of devote a little bit more of our engineering time. To bringing new products to market, yeah. so the the disaster prevention kits for the other make and mod, makes and models is something, um, you know, uh, DCR conversions for possibly other vehicles as well. Yeah. I mean, 
There's the L5P. Honestly, the HP4 is not really a bad pump. It doesn't yeah. have the same issues. Yeah, thank goodness. Except for JP8. Yeah. And yeah, and you just yeah, yeah yeah and you just mentioned you know the DCR does really well on JP8. Yeah. So there there may be something something there too. Yeah yeah that'll work. I I completely lost my train of thought on on that. You said something that touched on oh uh, uh, um, beta time that you all had on that. You said something about that, and I didn't realize mm -hmm. it had been long. I, I know you had a few months on the DCR before you launched. How long were you running these on the six, seven power strokes before you actually came out with the launch? Oh my gosh, it was um, a long, it was a while. Over a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have uh, that's a lot, lot of testing lot, time. Lot, lots of you know, our, we're not going to sell anything in, unless we test it on our own vehicles first. Yeah. And so yeah, we were running, and it and it kind of. It was tough because you know me, I like to talk about stuff. Yeah. You know, I like to hype things up and we were running around with the DCR and our company truck to all these events and stuff and I couldn't even tell anybody about yeah. it. Yeah, but, couldn't uh, pop the hood on it so somebody <laughs> sniff it out, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you know, we, we we were pulling our race trailer all over the country with with the DCR before we even told anybody about it, you know, before we even you know, launched it here, I guess unveiled it here last year. Yeah. So it's it's been out two years now. I mean, it's yeah. not hasn't been out two years, but you've yeah. you've got test time, seat time for almost yeah. two years. Yeah. I, yeah. Due, due to our OE roots, I, I feel that the DCR pump conversion has been more valid or thoroughly validated and tested than any other aftermarket product. Yeah. You know, this is this is on OE level stuff. You yeah. know, and and I'm I'm really proud of the guys I work for because they are really really smart engineers yeah and oh, yeah. but but also they're that due to that oe background they're, they're cautious as well yeah. we're not just going to throw stuff out there with without testing it first and, and making sure that that it that it's right yeah it'd been hard for me man as soon as i got the as soon as i got the dcr in the valley and i knew the fca would communicate i'd be like turn it loose let's go yeah, exactly. let's go me right too. now <laughs> but, hey, no and then that's the thing too because you know when the CP4 came out, really trying to run that higher pressure regimen to feed a piezo injector mm -hmm. and whatnot, for them to come up with the or to find the pump that was right and for the for it to be plug and play. A lot of people don't know that about DCRs; they mm -hmm. they think it needs to be tuned. The FCA or the electronic controlling portion of the DCR pump, you plug it in. It plugs into the to the to the stock wire harness. You don't have to change anything. It is plug and play and ready to go. Don't have to change a thing, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, which is which is really another testament to the whole thing. So. Yep. Yep. You I think mean, we were doing a DCR video here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it, it it it's it's been a, a great it's been great for the six seven power stroke engine. Yep. I mean, yep. I'd say you know you touched on the disaster prevention kit. You know, a question we get a lot is is you know why the DCR when when the DPK is. Four hundred dollars. Yeah, and and that's a great question. I, honestly, the way we tell people is like, if if you want to, I guess you know, cover your hide, and yeah. and and make sure that you don't have a ten to fifteen thousand dollar repair bill for your fuel system, put a disaster prevention kit on it. Yeah. Like if you can afford to be down, that's the thing. It's like you know, if you're okay having your truck down for quite possibly a month, I don't know how long it, it takes some shops to to do a swap or whatever, but that's all you need. You just need to swap yeah. out your pump. Yeah. If you can't afford for your truck to be down, then go with the DCR because the install, you got to take everything off anyways to, to get yeah. to it. You don't have to go much further just to put a DCR in. Uh, the, between DPK, because what you have to take the upper and lower intake manifold off, yep. between the DPK to DCR, you're probably like, in my just just in my opinion, probably another hour and a half, two hours to get it done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. And like you said, there's nothing wrong with the DPK. I think what we see a lot in customers is, is, is you know, Maybe a guy's just not there financially. You know, it's not, the, uh -huh. and, and the DCR pump, you all have held the pricing on it. It's not a crazy expensive thing. But a lot of times the guy's just, you know, so worried about the the, the uh, CP4, they'll do the, the DPK kit in waiting for, you know, yep. to try to keep everything together. So, because yep. you don't want to, that's the thing, you don't want to have to replace injectors. You don't want to have to replace a rail. Yep. A CP4 is relatively inexpensive to replace. Yep. But what it takes out when it goes is what the problem is. And exactly. A lot of people don't understand exactly. that. So. And you know, also pe people can't pick what fuel they go that goes That's into the right. truck. They can try. You know, like you can change your filters and all that. The truck I was just talking about, my friend's truck. Yeah. His, he changes his, his all his filters every three thousand miles. Yeah. Not not just the oil filter, but the yeah. fuel filters all and everything. Them. Got bad fuel at, at, at a fuel station. Uh, went on vacation. Let the truck sit for two weeks. That's where all that rust came from, and, yep. and, and then it came to us with a high rail pressure yep. code. And we're like, what happened there? Well, the pressure, uh, I, I guess you call it the PCV on the back of the rail, mm -hmm. was clogged up with rust. Yep. You know, but that, 
the, the fact that, that all we needed to do was rip that clogged screen off of there and put all the old parts in it and it's running just fine is, is a testament to the DCR that, yeah. that we we believe that a CP4 wouldn't have handled that. Yeah. And that's, that's a, I guess, what another benefit of the DCR when people are asking why a DPK versus a DCR. Well, a DPK is going to save your fuel system for, from something like that, but it's not going to save your pump. Yeah. DCR is going to eat it and keep chugging. At yeah. least we have two instances of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I, we, that, don't, we don't recommend running yeah. your, your truck on yeah. water. You know, yeah. we don't recommend that. Yeah. And we're not saying that, that, you know, yeah, sure, the DCR can handle water and rust every time. The injectors probably won't. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the, the yeah, part yeah. of it, too. But they did yeah. it twice. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly right. That's right. The, uh, uh, I know that you all are ramping up production, too, on the pumps. And I know, mm -hmm. uh, I, I know that the, you, you've got another plant getting ready to fire up, so yep. production's staying up, and, and, and we're we're keeping product on. So I, you know, every time I turn yep. around the warehouse, we've got another pallet up. Yeah, again, all, so. all, all production's out of South all Carolina right now. Yeah, yeah, yep. that's awesome. That's awesome. The uh, uh, yeah, production's there. We've got units on the shelf. Everything. It's it's a good time. So mm -hmm. especially right now with tax season, if you're looking for, um, you know, if you're looking for an upgrade that's a, that's essentially going to save you money, um, you know, the DCR is are, is it for sure. You know, yep. keep, keep keep six or seven thousand dollars in your back pocket. Save yourself out of out of a fuel system failure and mm -hmm. put a DCR on. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Absolutely. So, absolutely. And if you're thinking about buying a DCR, I recommend getting it from our partners at Thoroughbred Diesel. They're, they're one of our best distributors, yes. great partners. Thank you. We actually have a pile of them here at the yeah. farm show. So if you're at the farm show and you want to take one home, yeah. call Wade. I don't know who gets it today. If you guys do it, <laughs> if you call up the shop, we can we can put you on wheel call and you can pick it up here at the uh, at the uh, farm show and, and you can take it with you today. So, Justin Norris, I appreciate it, man. Appreciate Good talk. You, Wade. Enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys got any questions about SNS, you got any questions about uh, uh, DCRs, Six, seven power strokes, just give us a call. We'll be glad to help you. Thanks, Justin. Appreciate You're it, welcome. man. Thank yep. you.